Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nestor, and today we're going to be talking about how you can best position yourself to get a Corvette C8 Z06 as soon as possible. Now, we have a bit of experience here because we got the very first 1LT in Canada, and our car was built around the 2000 VIN mark. So for all intents and purposes, we got ourselves a C8 very early on in production. Now, getting a C8 early was important for us because we knew how much of an impact it would have on the car world. You can look around at various YouTube channels and see the crazy interest viewers have in this car, and for good reason. Now, the Z06 is going to have the same strong demand as the base C8, except it'll be more rare as it'll be made in fewer numbers. Let's hope by the time this car comes around, supply constraints are fixed and COVID is behind us. Otherwise, it'll be even more of a nightmare trying to get one. For those unfamiliar with the Z06, it's supposed to be a track-focused version of the C8 with a naturally aspirated flat-plane cranked V8 engine that screams to 8,500 RPM. <laughs> Of course, this also means it'll have plenty of aero for downforce, wider tires for more traction, and of course, a heavily tuned suspension setup, all of which makes this car a track beast that can hopefully rival some of the best out there. Now, we speculate that this car will probably start at 90,000 USD MSRP, but it could be slightly more depending on the ever-changing cost of parts and materials. Either way, for a flat plane crank V8 engine that pushes upwards of 600 horsepower, this thing is going to be a steal for the price that it releases at. Because of that, the demand is going to be through the roof, and if you don't take the proper steps now to ensure you get one early, you're going to be waiting for years. Now, sadly, you got to put in the work, and there's no way around that fact. For the base model, I personally called over 65 dealerships trying to find out as much information as possible from each of them. You need to make sure that you get several things directly from the dealership. Firstly, if they expect to get Z06s in the first year. This is extremely important. If they're a small dealership, they may not get any at all in the first year, and you don't want to put your money there, especially if you're trying to get one as early as possible. You can push the dealership's buttons by asking if they've gotten any C7 Z06s in the first year when they dropped, and how many C8s they got in the first production year, which was 2020. That right there will help you gauge how big of a Corvette dealership these guys really are. Next up, ask how many deposits the dealership currently has for the Z06 specifically. You're looking for a dealership that you judge is bigger than the amount of deposits they have on the car. Now, to give you guys an example, if it's a medium-sized dealership with 100 deposits, then you're likely going to be waiting for over a year. But if you find a larger dealership with only 80 deposits, though, then that's a much better scenario than case number one. I'd personally look for a medium-sized dealership with as little deposits as possible. Going with a big dealership is absolutely great for customer experience, but if you're not in very early on in terms of the deposit list, you're still going to be waiting quite a long time to get your car. So finding a big enough dealership with as little deposits as possible is your absolute best bet. Make sure you're calling plenty of dealers so that you can put your deposit in the best hands possible. The absolute best case scenario is if you call a medium-sized Corvette dealership and they tell you that they're not accepting any deposits on the Z06 until it's officially revealed by GM. They'll most likely tell you that there's no information on the car, no pricing, and you can't even build it out online, so they can't take a deposit. Now, these are the best places because you can try to convince them to take your deposit early, or you can be proactive by putting a deposit in as soon as the Z06 gets revealed so that you're at the top of the list at the dealership. By far, the most important thing you need to look for, though, in a dealership is that they are transparent and don't try to hide information on deposit numbers and other things. These types of dealerships are not worth dealing with. They won't get you a car early no matter what they say, and they're just trying to take your deposit. Make sure to call around to a lot of different places and get as much information as possible so you can make the proper judgment call. Any dealer not willing to discuss allocation amounts, deposit amounts, or anything like that are just shady and it's a big red flag for me personally. Open and honest dealers are the ones that will not only help you get a car early, but are also going to set proper expectations for you if it's not possible to get one in the first year. So to sum it all up, the first thing you're going to need to do is call a lot of dealerships. Secondly, you got to find out how many deposits they currently have on the Z06. Thirdly, you're going to have to take an educated guess and kind of think to yourself, how many Z06s are these guys going to get? If it's more than the amount of deposits that they have, 
then it's your best bet to place a deposit there as you're going to get a year one Z06. If not, then you want to move on to the next dealership until you find the right place to put your money down. I do want to stress though, guys, that this is just for the individuals out there that want to get a Z06 as early as possible. If you do have a really good relationship with an honest and really good dealership, then you probably want to just stick with them and make sure you're as high as possible on their list. But it's no guarantee that you'll get one early as they're probably going to have plenty of deposits down. Do your own research and good luck hunting for the year 106 guys. We'll be in the same boat as all of you. We'll be putting down a deposit at the best dealership that we can and hopefully getting one as early as possible to make some awesome content for you guys here on YouTube. If the base model Stingray was any indication, then this Z06 is going to have the most insane demand that you've ever seen, and the resale market on these for the first year, two years is going to be ridiculous. So again, if you're trying to get one of these cars early, you want to pay MSRP for it, you got to put in the work right now, start calling dealerships, and just be ready because these things are going to fly off the shelves quite literally. That is going to do it for the video though, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely smash that like button, subscribe for more Corvette and other automotive content. We do have a new car that we're picking up on the channel very soon, so stay tuned to that, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.